Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my night skincare routine. Now I already filmed my night skincare routine and I accidentally deleted the video yesterday night. I just sat and I was just clearing some random data from my laptop and I accidentally deleted my footage. So I am filming this now and you will be seeing me in the same look in another videos of mine which will come very later. I'm just informing you because I had some other videos to be shot today. But this is something which just came out out of nowhere because I deleted my old footage. So I'm filming it again. So just for one video, if I get so much ready, then uh, you know, I film at least three videos if I'm sitting and filming in a day. So soon this look will also be coming. This is a very simple look. So stay tuned for that. So let's not talk too much and guys just ignore my hair. It's becoming so voluminized and so fluffy. I don't know why, but then it's okay. So let's get started and let's not talk too much. Okay, so the first thing which I end up doing in the night is wash my face. Now a lot of people I have seen, they don't wash their face in the night. They are so lethargic, so lazy. So first thing I would just like to say, if you're wearing a makeup in the night and you have just come to your house and you're very tired, please take out 10 minutes for yourself and just do your skincare. If you cannot do your skincare, at least wash your face. But before that, please remove your makeup with a nice makeup remover. Then wash your face. Just don't give you give yourself that bargain that okay, it's okay if I don't do it because I've cleaned my makeup with so and so. No, nothing can help your skin if you don't wash your face after removing your makeup. Please remove your makeup. That's a humble request. You're not doing anything good to your skin by not removing it or just removing it and sleeping off. So the first thing is basically remove your makeup and you can use anything. So that I'm not going to show you here because this is strictly skincare. So you can use any micellar water. You can use any bi-faced water. You can use your any makeup removing wipes. Number of things are available. The best you can go for micellar water from Garnier and you can even buy color bar makeup wipes or body shop. They're really good. The next thing which I end up doing after removing my makeup is wash my face. Now, if I'm wearing a makeup in on particular days, then I generally scrub my face with the face wash. So what I do, I just take a little scrub and a face wash and I do it. But I got a new solution for it. I got a face wash which has a little bit of scrub into it. So this is my Garnier Pure Exfoliating Face Wash. This is amazing. This is bomb. I love this face wash. I use the other one, the white one in the morning during the day also but this face wash i end up using in the night mostly every day because night may any dust anything any 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 residues there on my face it will just come off with this face wash after removing it from my wipe so this one is like really good i personally like it i was not a big fan of garnier products but recently i'm in love with them so this one is really nice this has eucalyptus leaf extract and aloe also so this is really nice and this is for combination to oily skin people. So people who are of my skin type, they can definitely go ahead and buy this one. So this is the first or you can see the second step which I do after removing my makeup. So definitely please wash your face. That's my request. Next thing which I end up doing after a face wash is applying a serum. Now this serum I apply in my morning routine also. I will link down my morning routine on the eye cards and in the description you can go ahead and watch that. So this is my body shop tea tree anti-imperfection daily solution. I always get wrong with the name. So this one is like amazing serum. I apply this twice a day that is in the morning and in the night and some days I skip it in the night because if I'm wearing a makeup I do go for this on that day because I feel I did a lot of things to my skin so I need to give that proper skin care that day so this is something which shifts according to my uh, routine if I am part if I'm going out partying and wearing wearing makeup then it goes but then mostly I initially I was using twice a day I reduced it to once so this is really good so this is always there in my night and morning routine but mostly it is there in my night routine. So after face wash, I do this. Mm -hmm. Next is a moisturizer. And a lot of people have very huge skincare routine. That's very good. It must be soothing them. So it is not important or necessary that whatever I do, you do and it will work. No. Please give your skin a little time with all the products and all the steps you do. And you figure out what, what is working for your skin. 
so what i generally end up doing past 6 7 months that i was adding few things and removing few things from the routine and then i figured out what works well for my skin and then i am just staying around with that so you should know what goes well with you just don't follow blindly what i say or what anybody else is saying that follow 14 steps 7 step 10 steps no it doesn't work like that because you know what your skin needs i don't know what your skin needs i know what my skin needs so i am telling you what goes well for me if this works for you it's very good so it's like basically you can grab some steps and do it you can grab the whole thing and do it but you should notice closely what is going well for your skin next is my night care uh, night skin care uh, moisturizer now this is the garnier light complete yogurt night cream now this is amazing guys this is how it is it's so white that you can't will not be able to see it on the camera but it's amazing it's into a very very thin consistency it's not that thick cream so you just have to tip it and just apply it all over your face it just applies so well and then in the morning when you see you will definitely see a change in your skin because from the first use itself i could see a change in my skin so what basically it does for my skin is any acne marks or any pimples or anything which appeared long time back and it just left a mark it helped to reduce the marks in due course of time you will not even see that mark so that is something which this really helps you can even buy its morning normal day cream that is also really good um so this one is like my current favorite it is very inexpensive for 189 only or 200 less than 200 you will get this night cream and don't go by the price guys try if you feel that okay sometimes we spend thousands and thousands of rupees on a very nice quality branded uh skin care and when we start using it it just starts giving us a like a i don't know what so don't go by the price just try and if you think that this is working well then that one why not just change it and shift it so price doesn't make any difference to any moisturizer for any skin care so you need to know what works well for your skin because nowadays i've seen it has everybody has shifted to the price part price part everybody you know if if it is for 3000 it is it has to be good no it is nothing like that i somewhat it doesn't didn't work for me like that so that's my advice to you so save your money just don't splurge the money on unnecessary things next is an eye cream now generally i do eye cream before my night cream because eye area is the most sensitive area so we accidentally end up putting our night cream also around our area if we don't pay attention so eye cream is a must now eye cream if you are in a dilemma that should i use it is i is i am in my right age to use it i have already done a very separate dedicated video on it you can go and watch but even if you are age 24 you can start using it from the age 24 you can start using an eye cream but don't go for those very heavy um heavy duty eye creams i i would say uh, go for something um, moisturizing or something into a moisturizer form rather going for those uh, serums and all because your eye area is very delicate so you can't take a chance of putting such a heavy uh, eye cream around your area you know you I mean you may just not know that next morning it your skin is really you know burning and you have a burning sensation so instead that go for something safer so you can go for innisfree olive real eye cream you get green tea one also in this and orchid one also so you try you see what will go well with your eye so this one goes well this is like a normal moisturizer which just gives a hydration and it really reduced my puffiness around the eyes it worked so i swear by it it's really good but this jar is going to last you like for more than a year nothing less than that because you just need a tiny bit so just take a little bit rub it between your fingers and just dab it and massage it and just massage it till here and here don't leave these portions so that was my eye cream and last is a body butter lip butter sorry i always get confused this is a lip butter by body shop this is like has to be there like i keep it here because 
I keep it always here because it has to be around me because you know lips gets drier during the day also. So this is like a holy grail product. It has to be there and I keep using it. So this is how it is. I have already used quite a bit, but this one is really good. You can try the shea butter one. You can use. You can try the strawberry one also. That's also good. So this one is the amazing lip butter. So that is like the last part I do. Apart from that, there's only one more thing which I end up doing, which I felt I should just include it is a hand cream. Now in the night, I generally always end up using a hand cream or a nail cream. So this is my Innis Free one. I I'm not in love with this one, but I'm using it because I have it. I like the Body Shop one. So this one I currently using, and I will just want to finish it off. So I'm just using it. So use a hand cream, and there is another nail cream which I use from Moha. Uh, why I use a nail cream? Because you know I end up doing a lot of things in water also, so my nail tends to get a little softer. So this na nail cream really helps to keep my nails intact and doesn't break so often. So this is like an optional step. You don't have to follow it. I just do it. So I'm just telling you. And Moha products are really good. I really like their foot care cream also. So this one is really good. So I use this and this like hand cream is like almost every day. I don't skip the hand cream part. So that's it, guys. This was my normal simple night care. And I think most of you must be following this kind of night care routine because this is something which I see ladies or girls doing it because this is simple and easy do not doing too much to your skin please don't do too much to your skin because your skin doesn't like it initially you feel oh my god my skin is glowing but that's like temporary that's not permanent so know what is good for your skin and accordingly do it and drink lots and lots of water and please guys remove your makeup whenever you're wearing it just remove it and then only go to bed so that's it. Give a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And just stay tuned for more and more videos girls. So take care of yourself and bye bye.